probably a couple of ways um, I've done it um, again with Google Docs, Google Forms. Um, preseason, I started doing this about six years ago with my high school team. I don't coach high school anymore because I'm in a, I, I moved to a college. Um, but I started six years ago asking a few questions and I changed the questions every year, but basically getting the why out of them. Why are they playing? Um, and the answers came through like I knew they would. They're, they're not playing for winning. These are these are these are sixteen-year-old kids. Okay, um, they're not playing to win. Two kids out of fifty-five in my first time said they want to win a championship, and it was like their third choice. The rest of them were, um, I want to, I want to learn new sport. I want to get fit. Uh, I want to make new friends. I, I even want to make new friends with the opposition, which I'm like that one. Uh, that one I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't, I wasn't sold on. But good, good for you. Um, but it was all about the connections and learning a new sport and and um, having fun. And I, so as a coach, I read that it's now my duty to provide that that uh, that environment for them because if I provide the environment that I think they want. That, that's not what they come for. And end of the day, we're going to get players who don't actually like rugby and don't continue playing rugby. And in a country like Canada, like we just, we can't have that. Um, we've got to, we've got to, um, you know, bring all, all players in because we're competing with just some mega sports. Um, doing the same thing for senior men, you'll get ver- winning starts to creep in. Definitely. They, they want to win. They want to train. They want to, they want to go out and they want to win. And they want to win a championship, but but still, there's this underlying current of we want to be a tight team. We want to represent the club. Um, I want to get better as a player because I want to play for the provincial side. Those kind of things. So again, you gotta you gotta cater for that environment. But the, it's it's fun. They they do want fun. They do want an enjoyable uh, environment because man, the the rugby world is littered with with coaches and players who are just not enjoying what they're doing like you you just have to you know lift under the surface and have a look to see you know you've got you've got coaches out there who you know their their marriages have failed they're working 80 hours a week um they're kind of dragging themselves to practices there's players and coaches with mental wellness issues um so we we can really go too deep into the you know, win at all costs uh, mindset. And I've done it before. I know, I know that the, it's a slippery slope. Um, but I think getting the how, uh, sorry, getting the, you know, the who sorted first and then actually listening to it and realizing, hey, I'm in a service here. My, my job is to serve uh, is really important. 